All right, what's up YouTube? So, a bit of a quick rundown. Uh, this week I'm not going to be doing a video, so I thought I'd do a bit of a shop tour, look around, look at what I've been using, what's working, what needs improvement, and a few other little bits here and there. Some of the different tools that I have that I think are pretty fun and I use a lot. And so yeah, let's get into it. old beast of a table saw it's done me pretty well I've obviously added on a few bits here and there I've done videos on them but yeah it's done me really well I think I've had it about five or six years now uh, all of it went under the flood except for the motor which I was luckily happened to be separate and was somewhere else out of the flood so it was all sort of just needed a good clean up and a bit of work in there and and sorting it all out and then happy days A bit of a quick rundown on two that I really enjoy and that I've got a lot of use out of over the years. First one up is the uh, Arbitech Grinder Doodaddy thing. Yep, there's a proper name for it, I'm not sure what it is. This one I brought probably at least six or seven years ago, so they've definitely got newer and definitely got better versions of it, but this thing is a beast. It's a beast and it works so well. Like it's just great for carving, great for shaping something. Great for signs, great for hogging out material if you're trying to, if you well. And then the next one is my Dremel. Uh, it's a bit of a less common, it's pretty, still has to pretty common, but uh, I think it's a really awesome one. It's really handy. And the best bit for it is this attach, the pen attachment. It just means you're not like, you just got the little pen. And then all you do is buy different bits for different things. Angle grinders, all sorts of stuff. Just great for really small, like handwork or even big signs. You can do. So, this is my little mini lathe. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's super handy. Great for just small pieces, rings handles, anything like that, any sort of, yeah, little parts that I want to make out of wood. It's really handy. It's really awesome. Really enjoying having a nice big bench for it, and it sort of doubles as a sort of storage so if I'm sort of here I can just grab something or if I'm working there and yeah and uh yeah and yes it is made out of slabs and they're all camphor laurel and I know it seems a bit ridiculously using like slabs but I did pick up like all three for like 20 bucks from like a wood show like 10 years ago and they were like big checks in them and they were left out in the rain and they were on purpose cheap not good for a whole lot other than making a cool workbench thingy, drop saw benchy thing. All right, so in this corner, we've got my bookshelf slash now become my storage. And the good thing is it spins. So I got heaps of space. Uh, the long-term plan is I want to sort of build all these in and, and sort of build something up there so it's a bit more usable user friendly but for now it works really great and it's kind of a great way to have a lot of space in a funny corner that would sort of normally be kind of a wasted little corner and so yeah it works great obviously it needs a bit of work <laughs> yeah I picked up for free which is awesome because it was a bookcase but you know the dude basically said it's mine if I bring like at least five or six people and I always said sure dude I'll bring five or six people and then didn't and um, I think he kind of actually like I think I was second in line and then the first dude said he didn't have anybody and And so he missed out and then he gave it to me because I said I had at least like five people to help me 
oh well, he wasn't there when I got there, and I could, he just said, you, you must take it, and I said, cool, and I said, sweet, I'll get my five people to help me, and then it was just me. It weighed a lot. I mean, I'm a big boy, but it weighed a lot. Alright, so this is my wood pile at the back. It's obviously a pretty mess right now because I'm sort of in the process of adding more going further up and then I'm going to sort of divvy it up between the two and make some more levels in between so I can really sort of give myself more division because at the moment I can't really pull anything out of the bottom because it's so heavy, so much weight that I can't even get anything out and then these posts get in the way a fair bit so I need to sort of to the move them out a bit more but it's 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 a work in progress and it works and at least it frees up my shed my weird corner of of stuff there's projects there projects there projects there uh there's a there's a welder there but it has a project that it's going to work on soon which is actually what i've been working on because i've actually been clearing like like a lot of space in this area and sorting it out and getting rid of stuff to the tip and and organizing so that basically I'm gonna have a section here and it's gonna be all metal working. <music> all right, so this is my workbench. Overall, it's super rough, but that's what I wanted. I wanted it just to be, to be nailed into, hammered on, drilled through, grinded on, cut on, and it wouldn't matter because it's just for work. <music> So that's the tour. Overall, I think my shed's getting there. I definitely got a long way to go. Definitely got a lot of learning to do on workflow and flowing of the space and all that sort of stuff. I don't really know any of that sort of stuff, but I wing it and it works for me and that's the main thing and I'm, and I'm getting better, so that's awesome. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, there'll be a full playlist down below of all the other uh, YouTubers that are been doing tours if you want to go check them out that'd be really awesome oh and to answer the question from fix it fingers the cubby house is going awesome boys love it they're playing it like every day hasn't really changed since i did the video um <laughs> i was meant to paint and i was meant to do things but they love it they sit in there and and my older boy feeds me food through the little serving thingy like i ask for chocolate he goes oh chocolate hmm hmm cake hmm cake I mean, it'd be cool if he actually had chocolate and actually had cake, but he loves it, <laughs> and it's fun. So yeah, um, if you want to check out another video, that'd be awesome. If you want to hit subscribe, that'd be really awesome. Till the next one, peace.